Hi guys. I was at the local scrapyard recently, and they had bins full of literally hundreds of refrigeration compressors. So I picked up a couple of the oldest ones I could find to see how they work. Got a big cylindrical one, similar to the one that's on the uh, condensing unit I showed in the refrigeration system video. And another sort of pancake style compressor out of an old fridge or freezer. I think it's mount normally mounted in this way when it's running. I'll give you a demonstration of this one. Here we go. Low speed one, just like that one in that refrigeration system. Spitting a little bit. I'll show you the other one now. Here's the other compressor. When I first turned this thing on, it spat a huge amount of oil out everywhere and made a huge mess. Even now, it still puts out quite a bit of oil. Let's give this a try. Yes. You can hear that a lot of sputtering and produces somewhat of a mist as well. I don't know if you can see anything. Probably not. Anyway. I'm wondering if this, all this oil coming out of it is normal or if it's some problem with this compressor. I guess we'll find out after I open it up. <laughs> this thing has a lot of oil in it. It must be at least 300 or 400 milliliters in there. Because it's just such a low capacity compressor. Okay, that should be cut all the way around. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Maybe it's not quite cut all the way around. I gotta get a better screwdriver. Okay, here we go. Oh, the compressor's mounted sideways differently, differently from the way I thought it was. I thought it would have gone, uh, would, would spin around this way. That's interesting. See. see if I can rotate this thing. Oh, hey, it even has a cooling fan. Let's see which way did this go? This way, this side was down. But I can see why it needed so much oil. So take a look at how high the pickup tube is off the uh, base. <laughs> There's lots of room for it to move and spring. Plate on the motor says 181560, so it probably means it have 18 horsepower motor. Underneath it says 2152. Maybe that's the date. Maybe this was made in 1952. Seems to be about that vintage. I'm starting to make a squeaking noise now. That's enough of that. Very well built, these old ones. Have a lot of the joints are brazed. That one's brazed, that's brazed. This whole center assembly looks like it's been brazed together. Anyway, let's have a look at the other one. One thing I notice is that these terminal connections don't look particularly secure. Certainly not as, certainly not as good as the modern ones on modern compressors. Okay, I just finished cutting around the edge of this one. Let's open it up and see what it's like. Hopefully there's no springs that are going to send something flying off when I open it. Copper. Nothing on the inside of this thing. Yes. 
conventional presser with a uh, con rod, not the other style of the last one. Nice oil pickup there. Let's see if I can spin this thing. Huge motor for this small size compressor. There's wires down there. Get a bit of that. All really old cloth style wires. The intake. Let's just see what else you can see in there. Mm. Not much else. Very nice spring mounting that's independent of the top lid. It looks like it's anchored entirely onto this uh, piece. Let's see if we can get this thing farther open and take a look at it. Okay, let's give this thing a run. Here's some quite a bit of oil over the exhaust. I'm thinking that when I first turned it on, that big spurt of oil that came out was probably stored in one of these reservoirs. I just came flying out. The oiling system in this compressor is actually quite ingenious. Uh, this dipper f uh, flings the oil up onto the top surface or bottom surface of the compressor housing here, and some of it drips down over to the side and falls into this little tray here, and that empties through a little sh through a chute into the uh, motor bushing. And the uh, connecting rod, this end, is lubricated, I believe, by the oil dripping off this dimple here. It drips down. And if I can get a view of this, let's see. There's a little hole on the conrod pin there, and I think the oil goes into that, drips into that pin, that hole as it's spinning around, and that lubricates that uh, part. I got the compressor out of the case now, and it's quite a bit shorter than I thought. And this uh, compressor also has a fan like the other one. I guess the windings in these old compressors are not rated for very high temperature, so they need uh, pretty good cooling. There's the uh, piston in there. Here's the valve assembly. This one goes uh, against the piston, the center plate. Uh, so the, that's the discharge valve, this one's the suction. And then this top piece, which directs the gas flow down to, into the exhaust here. Anyway, thanks for watching.